Hey, it's Brian with Gold Arrow Fitness, and this is Advanced Workout number 11. Starting out with just a low knee jog. So your knees are coming up just slightly, feet just a little bit off the floor. We'll warm up, and we'll build throughout the warm up to get our muscles all ready to stretch. So I'm up on the balls of my feet, my arms are pumping. Just gonna slowly build. All right, so now I'm just gonna do a slight heel lift. So it's just a slight change in the fact that I'm lifting up my heels slightly. We're just gonna progress alternating between, you know, progressively higher knee lifts and progressively higher heel lifts. So, so your feet should be coming back to the knees, so knees up just a little bit more. This would be a medium knee lift. And you're staying up on the balls of your feet, swing the arms the whole time here. You're gonna slowly build up the heart rate, get more blood and oxygen into our muscles so we can do some work. Okay, medium heel lift. So notice how my heels are coming up a little bit more this time. Just slightly higher than last time. So we're going to crank up the intensity now and go to a high knee. So now the knees are coming up high and fast. Try to make, maintain control with your upper body. You don't want to be you know, flailing all over the place. You want to maintain good posture. Three, two, one, okay, high heels. So now they're coming up high and fast. Let's bring them all the way up. Kick yourself right in the butt. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna go to a log jump. So I'm just gonna pretend there's an imaginary log here. It's gonna jump up and over. So just make sure your feet are, and your knees are getting up high enough so you get over that log. seconds three two one okay so now we're gonna go to a low kick so just pumping the arms kicking out our feet this time <coughs> feet are just coming right out in front keeping the eyes up shoulders up still pumping the arms still landing on the toes All right, so we're just gonna pick it up a little bit more now. So it's just a slightly higher kick. This is engaging your core, if you can't tell. I know I can tell. Five more seconds with this. Three, two, one, all right, gonna finish up. Just a regular jumping jack. My arms are extended all the way over my head. So my movements are big and exaggerated. Last 10 seconds. Three, 
three, two, one, and stop. All right, excellent job. If you need a quick drink, grab it real quick and get back here. We're gonna do some stretches next. You know, try to stay moving. I know we only have 30 seconds. That's really not enough time to sit down, but you know, don't stand still. Just try to keep, keep loose. All right, so we'll start in five seconds with the quadriceps stretch. Three, two, one, pull one leg back. So your hips are forward, not hunched over. Your knees are relatively close together. So you're feeling it right in the front of the leg and your quadricep. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side now. So opposite leg back. Again, my hips are forward. I'm leaning a little bit forward because if my weight's more towards the front of my foot, I have more muscles to recruit to help me with my balance. All right, hamstrings now, down to one side. You know, I, I often get asked, you know, how straight should my leg be? Should my leg be locked out? You know, you want a pretty straight leg so you can uh, feel that stretch, but you don't want to like force your knee so it's like, you know, almost hyperextended. Other side. And as the stretch goes on, work to get a little bit further and a little bit further. Your muscles will allow you to get slightly further, but you know, don't push too hard. You don't want to pull a muscle. We want to just stretch them out. Down to the middle. Three, two, one. All right, last one is standing groin stretch. So just pushing out on the knees, squatting the hips nice and low. Feel it right here in the inner part of your legs in the groin. And stop. Okay, so 30 seconds here and we'll get into our, uh, our exercises. So, um, you've probably done other advanced workouts before, but just for those who haven't, it's two minutes of work, 30 seconds of break. Two minutes of work, 30 seconds of break. All right, so we'll start our first two minutes right here in about five seconds. Three, two, one, we're gonna do a side bound. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna jump side to side Landing with soft knees, so slightly bent in your knees, so you cushion your landing. Eyes are staying up, shoulders are staying up pretty much, so you don't want to be like way down like this and going crazy with your upper body. Okay, so now we're gonna do low kicks, but we're gonna add arm circles, so just like the warm up, you're kicking out with your feet nice and low. Now you're just making tight little circles with your arms. This will work your shoulders. Try to keep your arms parallel to the ground. Doesn't really matter which way you're going, but you know you might want to switch up the direction of your arm circles about halfway. Okay, next. So lunging out to the side back together. So you're just going to alternate. Go one side, back to the middle, other side, back to the middle. Deep squats, bring your hips all the way forward when you come up. So you want to squeeze those glutes, bring the hips all the way under. That'll make it a complete movement. Deep, follow through. Okay, so the last one is Sidewinder abs, get in a plank position. And all you're gonna do is bring your feet from one side to the other. Make sure you're coming out all the way straight in the middle. My hips are staying generally low. They're not going way up in the air like this. It's about level with my shoulders. Okay, 
Excellent. So, 30 second break. We'll cycle through those same four exercises again, okay? Quick drink if you need it, but get back, get ready to go halfway through the break. Try to get nice deep breaths so your heart rate comes down and, and that'll make this true interval training. All right, here we go with the side bounds again. So just jumping, landing with cushion in the knees. It's really important that your knees aren't locked out when you land. You know, you should feel this in your thighs to some degree. Two, one, low kick arm circles. Feet are coming out like this. Again, similar to the warm up, but adding the arm circles about halfway through. So if you want to switch directions with your arms, it's okay. You just want to keep them up so those shoulders burn. Three, two, one, alternating lunge squats. Remember when you come to the middle, hips coming forward. And with all of these, once you have the movement down, add a little bit of speed. Go to, go to a speed that challenges you. The beauty of these timed workouts is that multiple fitness levels can be facilitated because the intensity is all up to the individual. All right, sidewinder abs, last 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, excellent. One more 30 second break uh, before we do those one, one last time, okay? Then we'll get on to some new stuff. So now that you know all the moves, this last uh, set should be as fast as you can control the movement, okay? Always have good form first. Side bound. Four motor speed. And as you get more tired, it's really important to focus on landing with those Knees slightly bent so you have that cushion. Three, two, one. Low kick arm circles. Other way with the arms. It's halfway if you want. Three, two, one, alternating side lunges. Off to one side together, and then the opposite. Hips are always coming forward, squeezing the glutes in the middle to maintain good form, get the full range of motion in. Keep the eyes up, shoulders up as you do these. You don't want to hunch forward. And you're gonna lean forward a little, but don't want anything crazy. Okay, sidewinder abs, last set of these. It's going straight, straight out with each one. Five seconds, three, two, one. 
And stop, okay. Great job. Now we're just gonna take a 30 second break again. And when we start back up for our two minutes, got a different set of exercises, okay? Five more seconds, we'll start with squat jacks. Three, two, one, here we go. So you're gonna come out in together. So deep squat, out with the arms, sinking the weight down into the heels. So you're gonna, to, you're gonna have a tendency to lean forward on these. Just fight it the best you can. Stay as upright as you can and sink those hips. Three, two, one, modified Ali shuffle. So, you're coming together in between each one. I'll turn sideways. Stay up on the balls of your feet. Swinging the arms as well. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, push-up jacks. So get down into a push-up position. And as you go down, you're gonna go out with your feet, together with your feet. Out, together, as fast as you can keep control. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Last one is reverse crunch. So on your backs. All right, so all you're gonna do now is roll up, straighten out. Keeping the heels off the ground. Rolling your knees into your chest. Try to keep your feet about a foot off the ground. Hands stuck. Okay, good job. Same thing two more times. We'll start again in 20 seconds. I'm gonna use this time to get my breath, so just be ready to go. 10 seconds. Five, start with those squat jacks again. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. In together. So deep squat together. Notice how my arms are extended. I'm not doing this thing. Everything's big and exaggerated. If you can go faster than me, please go faster. Remember, whenever you need a break, just Take a second and regather and get right back to it. You're doing the best you can do for your fitness level. Okay, so the modified Ali shuffle now. Turn sideways again. So just going opposite foot forward every time. Coming together in the middle in between. Stay on the balls of my feet. Three, two, one. Okay, push up jacks. <clears throat> just do what you can do. If, if you can't do these, you can always go to your knees and just do a regular push up. But these are the advanced workouts, so if you're up to shape to do these, do these. Three, two, one, reverse crunches on your backs. Remember, your feet are staying about a foot off the ground when they're extended. When you roll back, your lower back should come off the ground slightly. Three, two, one, and stop. 
One more lot to that, and then we'll move on to the afterburn, okay? So we only have four total minutes of work left. With a 30 second break in between, we're on the home stretch. Finish strong, all right? Going back to the squat jacks in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. Getting as low as I can with my hips, well, just like you should be. Get as low as you can, sink the weight into your heels, and then come up, bring your hips forward when you come up. Just like with those alternating side lunges we did in the previous set. Squeeze the glutes at the top, bring your pelvis under. All right, modified Ali shuffle, here we go. So as the fatigue comes, really focus on keeping strong form. Okay? That's where it's the most important. Go as fast as you can while keeping that good form. Okay, uh, push up jacks. Out when you go down. Only 10 more seconds of these. Get in what you can. Remember, if you can't do these, you should be on your knees doing push ups. Okay, roll on your backs. Reverse crunches, last set. Curl up, straight out. Curl up, straight out. Keep the feet about a foot off the ground. Extend all the way, get your knees straight. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, all we got left is the afterburn. So, just grind it out. That's what it's about. If you made it this far, your body's good enough. It's just up here, okay? Just mentally, just keep telling yourself to push it. Keep challenging yourself. Two minutes and we're done, all right? So we got a speed skater skip first. So what we're gonna do is just like a speed skater. So you're just going side to side and skipping. So notice how my inside leg doesn't touch at all. I just land, go right into the skip. Three, two, one, wood choppers. So pretend like you got that big ax. You're just chopping wood. Bring your arms up nice and high. Feet off the ground. Three, two, one. All right, plank Spider-Man. So all you're gonna do is get in a push-up position, bring the knee up and to the side. So your knee is also coming to the side as you bring it up. Go right at your elbow. Let's do the best you can. Alright, finish in with burpee low jacks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and do a burpee, but up, do two low jacks. Down to the burpee, up, out twice, staying low. I'll just turn forward so you can see it. Burpee, staying low. Okay, great job. That was advanced workout. 
Number 11, make sure to do a cool down. Great job, I'll see you next time. Sometimes it just makes sense to work with an expert. Even elite athletes like LeBron James go to personal coaches. A Gold Arrow Fitness Consultant can provide the extra guidance and accountability you need to reach your vision. For more information on fitness consulting, go to goldarrowfitness.com.